Holy Thursday to all. <laughs> it is wonderful to see a full house to, tonight um, on a Thursday evening to spend time with our Lord as we reenact his last week on earth. We are not, uh, we're not repeating what happened 2,000 years ago. We are reenacting re it via sacra a sacramental way. So, um, for the last 40 days of Lent, we have been preparing for this night, for these three nights, the Tridium, Holy Thursday tonight, Good Friday, and Holy Saturday. Why have we been preparing? We have been preparing to celebrate the Paschal Mysteries. What are the Paschal Mysteries? Paschal Mysteries are the suffering, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Why is that? So that we can be resurrected like he was on Easter Sunday. Today uh, also is called Monday Thursday. Monday comes from the word mandatum, mandatum, Latin word, means commandment, mandate. Mm. So on this night, Jesus gave the disciples a commandment, the new law of love to love one another as he loved them. That is the new commandment that was established on this night. This night is also known as the Mass of the Lord's Supper, or the Last Supper. This is all in the context of a Passover meal. And on that day, the first Mass was celebrated, the very first Mass was celebrated. And in, during this Mass, in the context of a Passover meal, Jesus instituted the Holy Eucharist, the priesthood, and the command to love one another, the law of love. Uh, Earlier this week, at the uh, Tuesday, at St. Paul Cathedral, Fisher Reka celebrated the Christian Mass. Christian Mass are like the opening ceremonies for this tridium, the three days. And it was a beautiful mass. A few of us came, my wife even came, and a few others came to that. And we saw our beloved priest, and all the priests in the diocese, renew the commitment to the priesthood. Beautiful ceremony. And Bishop Reika blessed the holy oils that will be used during, during this coming year during the, for the sacraments. This night, Holy Thursday, is synonymous with love and service. In this night, Jesus taught us that we have to become servant leaders. He not only served them during the Passover meal, but he washed the disciples' feet, which Father will do after this homily to 12 members of our church that have been selected to represent the 12 apostles. So he washed their feet, he removed their dust, dirt from their feet. This is something that was done in those days by a slave. Slave, when people came to visit a house, the slave would wash people's feet, not, a, not the master. So he showed us that we have to become servant leaders. This is a good lesson for all of us. Um, he told that to the disciples, commanded to do this uh, to each other. But his commandment is to us as well. He's telling us we wash everyone's feet, not just the people that we know, but everyone. The strangers, the homeless, the poor, the orphans, the orphans, everyone. We must love each other's feet. It's a commandment by Jesus. To love each other because he knew without service there is no love and that's why he's, he knew that service has a cost and he gave us the Eucharist until the end of time part of his service to us you know as servants leaders that we should be we should take that into our workspace in our businesses, here at church, in our ministries. 
if we are in our business we only focus on profit and making money and we neglect those people that are under our care we're missing the boat of this evening we're missing the boat same is here at mercy parish if we're so focused on our job that we neglect to respect and love those people below us we're missing the boat completely of this evening you know uh beginning of palm sunday we uh read two gospel readings you remember and the second gospel reading was a passion it's very long reading that's one night that i'm glad i'm a deacon because i don't have to read it <laughs> <laughs> and uh that was the version from the gospel of mark that we read tomorrow on good friday we're going to read it again from the gospel of john and what do you think that is what are you saying that we have this passion read to us twice in one week that's because our holy mother our loving mother wants us to meditate on the last hours of our lord jesus christ she she wants us to transfer this knowledge from our head down to our heart you know when we think about the nails they were put into his hand and feet. We must reflect that was done for each of you, for me, for Father Joe, for everyone. But we have to make this personal. He did it for you, he did it for me. When they put this crown of thorn on his head, he did it for you, he did it for me. When he hung on the cross for hours, we could, he couldn't breathe because he has to push himself up by the nails on his feet and his hand and to take a breath because when you're hanging like that on a cross you cannot breathe he has to push up like this every time he push up pain in his hand pain in his feet he did that for hours he did it for you and he did it for me so my brothers and sisters tonight we're going to have time to reflect after at the end of the service to reflect on this, the church wants us to reflect on Jesus' suffering and make it personal. Make this touch our hearts. Because if this suffering that he went is only stays in our mind, chances are we're gonna be like Judah who betrayed him. Chances are we're gonna be like Peter who denied him three times. Chances are we're going to be that those people that were on Sunday or saying Hosanna, but the next few days they were saying crucify him. Chances are we're going to do, be, be falling to one of those people. We have to imitate our Blessed Mother Mary and the other Marys and young the disciple who stood by him all the way at the foot of the cross until the very end and the good thief on the cross who defended jesus as he was hanging on the cross he had a conversion that man had a conversion and this knowledge touched his heart and he defended jesus on the cross so my brothers and sisters on this holy thursday when we commemorate the first mass the institution of the priesthood the institution of the Holy, Holy, Holy Eucharist and the command to love one another at the end of the service by the way mass won't end tonight mass will go all the way to the end of the vigil mass when Deacon Ken will dismiss you there's no ending tonight but at the very end tonight Father is going to take the Blessed Sacrament and we're going to process to the altar of repose, which is right here at the Holy Hall family. And then we're going to come back, we're going to strip the altar, extinguish the candles, and the liturgy is going to take a different mood, different uh, meaning, because in the ancient times, a sundown marked the beginning of the next day. So we are now underlining the darkness 
of Jesus in the tomb. So please try to come, don't go home right away after this service is over. Join us at the outer repose and reflect, reflect on the suffering that Jesus did for us, for the love of us. And let's, let's learn to be servant leaders and to love Jesus and to love one another. May God bless you. Don't forget that I love you.